Okay. Hello. Tonight we'll be playing Tales from Off Peak, Volume 1. Just came out today. Uh, I, I've been waiting for this game to come out ever since I played uh, the Norwood Suite. So, let's go ahead and start a new game, huh? Okay, Tales from Off Peak City. If you don't know about these games by, what are they called, Cosmic D or something, the developers? They're pretty much uh, walking simulators, but everything is just super weird. And yeah, well, you'll see. Well, you woke up just in time. Before we go any further, I need to know one thing. What's your name? Yeah or hmm. You won't find this place on any map, Scythe. Wow, look at that dude. What is he doing with his neck? And his eyebrows, holy shit. But in time, you'll come to know the corner of July Avenue and Jam Street, like few others do. It seems a bit more optimized, this game. The other one, while not looking good at all, it uh, shugged quite a bit. I have many assignments for you, Scythe. And for the first one, I require you to steal a valu valuable musical instrument. It's an old saxophone, the prized possession of Catano Grosso, former musician and current owner of the pizza restaurant on the corner up ahead. Catano needs an assistant, so I thought, hey, here's the perfect opportunity to prove your worth to us, Scythe. That's a letter of recommendation. We'll make Catano think you're overqualified to work at his restaurants. Kitano was an incredible sax player in his day, world class. He even played with the great Peter Norwood for a while. Oh wow. But nowadays, Kitano just holds up in his pizza shop making his pies all day. A rumor site, something not right about Kitano. Something's not right about him. Say something, Pops. Anyway, here's a picture of the sax for reference. Do whatever it takes to get it. Alright. At the very least, working for Kitano will give you an inside angle on his operation. Once you receive the sax, we'll find you. We'll need the money and that sax is worth a small fortune in this market. Besides, Pop's medical bills aren't gonna pay themselves, eh? Hey, 17 bucks. Here's some cash. Probably want to buy a few things while you're here. One last thing. Good luck, we believe in you. Alright. Well. Look at this place. What's this? Two dollars. Great. So. What do we want to look at first? Can eavesdrop on conversations, yes. Carbon here for years, no one misses it. And the owner wheeled off last week. Hello? Oh. Never mind then. So I can't run or jump, it seems. That's expected. Anyone home? No. What's this? Stoop sale. Oh wow, look at this house. Oh shit. Stoop sale. Hello? It's true, I got a little sale going on here. All this stuff, I don't need it anymore. And the camera over there is on sale. You can buy anything here if you have the cash. Jesus. Oh, don't you mind building 35. You always get excited when visitors come around. Hmm, pizza, huh? Thing is, we don't get as many visitors since the flooding. But Kitano's a local celebrity. That's right, 35. You and I have both been here long enough to remember Kitano before he made pizza. Before Norwood discovered him, even. We 
We see Kitano down his Sushini's bar every Thursday. The place was packed, dancing in the aisles. No wonder he was Norwood's favorite. These days I hear something else coming from Norwood's apartment above the pizzeria. What do you hear? Can't put my finger on it, 35. Always late, late at night. A real ruckus. I asked Gitano about it not long ago. Just the mild concerns of neighbor, that's all. What did he say? Well, he just stared into the distance and told me. Learning is a spiral staircase. The higher you go, the more you come around to the same problems. But you're at a higher level with them. I'd ask him if he reference referencing to his music, his pizza making or something else. He just smiled and told me to get some earplugs when things got loud. Just like the old days, he said. Like the old days. Okay, what do you have here? Bone, xylophone, hat from another time. Old camera. An eyeball of the space line. Well, I can only afford... What's behind here? Nothing. Let's get the camera then. Good choice there, that old camera. It even comes with a custom film. Take my picture. That's enough 35. You have plenty of demolition experts take pictures of you. <laughs> Rude. I've heard there's other film rolls out there for you to mess with. Different styles of film. That's right, 35. A lot of different styles of film. If you can find all different film rolls out there. So how do... Oh. Okay, how does this work? Focal distance. Oh, wow. Uh, zoom. What's this? Shutter speed? What the hell? Why? Can I, like... Oh... I shouldn't have done five. Can I see my photos? Yes, I can. Let's just delete that and let's try again. Uh, with zero seconds. Okay. There's the saxophone. What's with the octagon? It's on both of these. Let's keep moving. There's the pizza place. What else do we have? Pizza between lovers. Okay. Kinda loving this already. Just look at this place. Super weird. Just want to walk around and take it all in. But we should probably start the like main quest. Stoop sale, yep. Guitar lessons with Remy. Uh, no thanks. Okay. Oh, could do something here. What? Can I... Oh, I can swap. What? <laughs> okay, I can change the photograph. Okay, that's weird. Maybe that come into play later. Hello? Are you Kitano? As you can see, we serve a variety of slices of all appetites and sizes. T uh, tastes, I mean. Press tab. Okay, let's show him the recommendation. A letter of recommendation, let's see that. To whom it may concern, 
blah 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 consummate professional easy disposition strong handshake willing to work late whatever whatever this reads like any old boilerplate letter nice paper texture though that letter's bogus scythe whatever your name is so you're finally gonna hire me kitano scythe so is a big phony no you you're perfect for everything Yes, it's all crystal clear. Start, my supply of sauce needs to be refilled. And there's a jar of it in the basement. If you could bring it, bring up a jar of sauce from down there. That will get us started. Sure. Let's check out the basement then. Not here. Let me see it here. Right, I have to pull it down. What's over here? Oh. Creepy music started. Lock door. Keep moving down here. Microtonal ecstasy. Peter Norwood. There's the sauce. Thank you. But I wanna check out this place. Hey! There's the sex. And there is a secret door. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. I have a complicated lock. Shadow figure. Alright. Let's give him the sauce. What's up? Excellent work. There's a lot of old memories for me down there. Go ahead and pour the sauce onto the sauce vat by pizza making station to my right. Here? Yes. All I have to do is take that sauce and pour it into the vat to my right. Yep, I did. There we go. No? Oh, I have to click. What now? Very good. Now your next step is to actually commit to making the pie itself. The order computer to my right will provide you with your first order. Pick on your first order. It is an order. Study the form and embrace the formation. The door on the counter is calling your name. Okay, let's make a pizza. Well, that was easy. Lucas Bellman's order. Stop the form. Embrace. What could that mean? Embrace the formation. What do we have here? Fresh moss. Basil, pepperoni, mushroom. Can't grab any of the other things. Let's just make a... Uh... Maybe I should have put sauce on first. There we go. And put some fresh moz and a few pepperonis. Nice. Now that looks appetizing. I've studied the form. Look how round it is. Embrace the formation. I mean, how can you not? Like, right? No? Sprinkle ingredients till you're satisfied. Then press. Oh, I have to hold. Nice. What is that? Two glowing like bars of metal. Oh shit. What now? Just look at that pizza go. An impressive pie. He really went all in with the cheese. Good thing Luke is a cheese obsessive. Oh. There he goes. Nice. I believe it's time for your first delivery. 47 Yam Street, top floor. Oh, Professor Lucas Belmont. A real... Oh. 
He prefers his pizza for breakfast, and it looks like you made him a proper breakfast pie. And uh, you didn't put any mushroom on the pizza, so uh, I don't know what to say. Whatever. He'd tip you real good with or without the mushroom. You're unsure with where you're delivering the pizza. The pizza box is up with tell you. Okay. Just don't tell. Try not to stay too long at the apartment. Oh. Let's see, I have the pizza. Oh. Oh. 47 Yam Street, yep. Uh, let's go. 